Hi guys and welcome to Dubai. So this is my second voiceover. We'll see how I do this time. I hope it will be okay. You guys just bear with me. I'm sure I'll get better at this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Dubai, a place that I've visited many times now. I think definitely more than 10 times and the reason to this is that Rob's parents actually live here so we've visited them many a time and Dubai is often described as the Las Vegas of the Middle East and I guess that's true I haven't really visited many other places in the Middle East but I can see the resemblance in terms of lots of lights and flashy buildings and also being set in the middle of the desert which is pretty hot in the summer as I might add. Many people visit Dubai on the way to other destinations because the airport here is massive and um, it's a great place to sort of stop over just for a couple of nights. I probably wouldn't visit Dubai necessarily if I didn't have family there and I'd probably recommend going through there on your way somewhere else just to check it out but not necessarily spend too much time there. Dubai is all about luxury and shopping and fancy hotels and none of these things are necessarily really my cup of tea or at least not something I look for in a destination but Everyone's different and if that's something you're into then you'll love Dubai. With that said, there are some great food experiences to be had in Dubai. There's food from all over the world and with having so much other fancy stuff going on, of course they have some pretty fancy restaurants as well. So the interior design is always a fun thing to have a look at when you're experiencing the Dubai nightlife or lunch life for that matter. I think in Dubai a lot of people eat out many many times a week so it's a big scene there to go to restaurants and I must say I've had a fun time doing it myself. You can have anything from a food court meals to really fine fine dining and that's quite a nice juxtaposition but sometimes it can be hard to find things that are sort of in between but hey you take what you get right and as you will be able to see in this video there's a lot of fun food as I also said earlier we've had great food court food like noodles and falafel and dosas we had really great dosas at Dira city center you can check them out if you go and on the other side we've had lovely lovely meals out in spectacular restaurants and one of our favorites is Zuma which you will see little snippets of at the end of this video and it's a Japanese fusion restaurant and a lot of the items on the menu are vegan friendly but it's not a vegan restaurant as such actually there are only two vegan restaurants in Dubai one being a raw food restaurant in the Dubai Mall called Bistro and the other one being Tajuri, a western cuisine restaurant in the marina. But in general Dubai is pretty vegan friendly. I've never had problems anywhere ordering food and even though some waiters might not understand what you mean when you say vegan. If you explain it to them, they are often very, very helpful and will make sure that you have a good time. One thing I will mention though is that if you have Middle Eastern food, I love the lentil soups, but make sure to ask if the stock is meat because often it is. So yeah, my tip is to ask and that goes for the hummus as well because often they put yogurt in it or cream. I'm not sure, one of the two. and. Yeah, make sure you ask and check before you gobble away. There are not many things I have on my 
to-do list in Dubai. I mean, of course, it's a lot about shopping and there are lots of malls to visit. But now shopping isn't really my favorite thing to do. So I won't tell you too much about that. I will, however, say that you should probably visit at least one mall once whilst you're there to see what it's all about and the mall that I've visited and enjoyed the most is Dubai mall it's pretty crazy and it's huge but it's it's an experience and that's what matters I think and outside Dubai mall you'll also find the Burj Khalifa the tallest building in the world and you can go to the top of that building and that's fun you get a panoramic view of the city and I wouldn't say no to that if I was visiting for the first time again so that's always something you can do make sure to book before it's always better and you don't have to wait in such long queues other things I've enjoyed doing in Dubai is uh, going to the ripe fresh market which is a farmers market and also food stalls and various crafts and it's always a lot of fun. It's in Sabil Park, so you can walk around, which is something you don't do that often in Dubai because there aren't that many pedestrian roads. But anyway, the ripe fresh market is great. You can pick up lots of local fruits and vegetables and they're really tasty. I even bought organic dates there and they tasted amazing, so you should try that. Of course, you have to eat some dates while you're in Dubai. This is where they grow, right? You can also check out the Coco Yogo stall where you can find lots of products made from coconut. So you can find cheesecakes and yogurts and cream cheeses that are all vegan. And the lady is really super friendly as well. So I recommend trying out something there. Otherwise, in terms of things to do, I enjoy taking a walk on the beach and Rob's parents are great. They have taken us to the Umsakom beach or Kite beach it might be called as well. And they have a long track there for walking and running. There's beach volleyball and there's also quite a few cafes. And It can be nice to go and have an early morning walk and then have some food after. Enjoy the rest of this video, which I really hope you do, and thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the places in this video, or find even more places that I've enjoyed but not filmed during my visits to Dubai, you can read about them all on my blog, goodeatings.com. There's a whole guide there waiting for you. So go check that out if you feel like it. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.